So friends, a lot of you know uh, Mika from Bone Bull, and uh, Mika's been in some other videos, and Mika brought a friend with us today, but I want you to tell us, Mika, how you came to, you've been, you've known this lady for a long, long, long time, but you didn't know that there's an Elvis story, so tell us about that. I've known June Walden for my entire life. She has always been very active in our town. She has sang with several, or played piano for several singing groups, and that's that's how I've known her and heard about her, and she's known my family. But I never knew until I started writing for the Banner Independent. And a mutual friend of ours, Judy George, came in to tell me when she found out that she was uh, that I was an Elvis fan after I had written a couple of stories about being at Elvis Week and meeting different Elvis fans, she came in to tell me about Miss June. She said, well, you know she has an Elvis story. And I said, no, I did not know that. I said, what's her story? She said, she went to Elvis's funeral. And I said, oh, wow, that's cool. And I said, did she get to go in? And she kind of chuckled a little bit. And she said, yes, honey, she did. I said, well, what what was it like? She said, oh, you'll just have to get her to tell you. And I said, oh, I will. So anyway, the next time Miss June came in, I think she came in to actually renew her subscription to the Banner Independent. And I was talking to her. And um, during that time, I had watched the five-hour-long Memphis Mafia reunion, and they were showing scenes from the day of the funeral where people... Uh, were standing and you know the grieving and, and everything that was going on and Miss June just so happened to be the lady who passed out and there was video and I saw that and I said that's June Walden so then the next time I saw her uh, I took a screenshot on my phone and I just said I need to ask you a question and she said okay and I just kind of turned my phone around and I said is that you and she said, yes. And she kind of did this. And she said, I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> and so she told me the story. And after I got her story, I, of course, called you to get you to get it on film because I just thought it was a great story. All right. So here we go. This is June, friends. Hello. So, June, you went to Elvis's funeral. I did. And tell us about that day. Now, this would have been the 17th when you got to view the body. Absolutely, So yes. tell us about going up and viewing the body. Okay. Well, she just basically told all the story, but it was a very hot, blistery day. And we were all standing outside in the line with all of these people, hundreds of people. And I told my friend, who's deceased now, Mr. Ted Ledbetter, I said, Ted, I'm about to faint. He says, no, you're not. I said, I'm about to faint. He says, you're just wanting to get inside. I know what you're up to. The next thing I knew, I fainted. I fainted. So the guards took me inside. And when I came to, I was inside the trophy room. And I had a paper towel in my hand, and they were washing my face. And that's the long and short of it. Such a story. And when Mika said, is this really you? I, I just couldn't believe it. That's so many years ago. I had cold chill bumps. I was just so emotionally carried away. I thought, gosh, I was such a young girl. This, this can't be happening. You know, I was just with a crowd of folks. Everybody's going to Memphis. Elvis has died. So Ted and I just drove to Memphis. And that's what happened. And you're from Boonville. I am. The same area that Mika's from. Exactly. So when you saw Elvis, yes. um, you did get to go up to the, to the door. Tell us about that. Yes. Well, when you normally go into a funeral home, the casket is usually in front of you. But as I walked up, you stood at an angle, and you didn't really see his face. You could only just lean over and see. So the casket was like the head was away from you, away from the door, yes, where you had to so kind of look over his, exactly. the, the part that's closed to right. see him. Right, exactly. And exactly. I, I don't think a lot of friends know that that is how the casket was. It wasn't left to right like normal. Right. It was the long way where you yes, literally it, had to look over the top absolutely. of the casket and see him in the it far was. end. 
It was. So while you were in the trophy room, you came to. Yes. Did you get to go into any other parts of no, the house? No, no. I was exited out, out to the outside. Yeah. And I but, met my friend outside. And, of course, we toured the grounds. Everybody was able to do that. And everybody was, that was a sad day. That was a very sad day. But it was an experience that I will never, ever forget, even though it was so many years ago. That was a long time ago. Yes, it was. And so you're saying that people were just freely walking the grounds when all this was going on. Well, I saw a lot of folks walking around. I'm not saying they were just hundreds of people, but there were a lot of people on the grounds. That is interesting. Yes. June, you're still an Elvis fan? Oh, most definitely. Who could not be? <laughs> Who could not be? Actually, this morning before Mika and I came up here, I sat down at the piano and played Elvis songs. So, Very cool. Yeah. Thank you so much for sharing that story. And that's not, I know you said that you were embarrassed about it. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Well, that's, that's incredible. And friends, you. I will find the, uh, this piece of footage, and we will use the piece of footage. It's probably not very long, just a few uh -huh. seconds, I would so think. And so you can see June being carried away by a policeman <laughs> into oh, yeah. the trophy room. Oh, my. I am so grateful to Mika because she said, June, is this you? She said, I'm going to ask you a personal question. And I said, what in this world? And she said, would this be you? I said, yes, it is. <laughs> and the story goes from there. That's incredible. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you. Thank you, Mika.